beyond guacamole this morning as we continue to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month here on The Early Show. Here to show us how to use the avocado in some unusual and delicious ways is Ingrid Hoffman, host and author of Simply Delicioso. Good morning. I have a question. Good morning, Ingrid. Okay, your, your family's from Cuba, right? right? Do you use avocados? Uh, yes, we so, do. Yes, we do, but not for guacamole. I see, I see not done so much? No, we do. We yeah, do. and you're from? I'm from Colombia. Right, and avocados? I use avocado in absolutely everything. In and everything? For instance, I've sort of stopped using butter in the morning on my toast. Uh, I do avocado instead. That is my a fantastic idea. Yeah. It's really, really good for you. Yeah. And, you know, we've got... Now, the other thing is I love the Chilean has avocados. They have a little bit more fat, and that's exactly the secret. Why? Because it gives it more flavor, it's creamier. Mm. Now, anytime that you take anything like this, the, the avocado that has natural plant fat, mm. you feel satisfied with less quantity. Ah. ah, there you go. How do you know a good avocado? You sort of, it's got to have give. You know it when you feel it. It's got to have give, exactly. Okay. So we're making a farmer's market roasted vegetable salad. There you go, Harry. If you know nice. what we need, actually, nice. if you can do it sideways, because oh. we're going to stuff our avocados. Got to do it this There way. he goes. <laughs> So we've got zucchinis, yellow, green. We got carrots. We're gonna need to add and chop some of these. This thing's a little raw. Harry's Her doing his thing. Because otherwise, he's like, I just oh, want to do my Harry. Okay, so these are just chopped raw veggies. These are okay, raw veggies oh, on a baking sheet. Add, we need to add our uh, red pepper. So if Harry can help me chop it a little okay. bit, we sort of want to try have the nice sizes skills. evenly. Okay. This is gonna roast, but you know that we've got the magic mm -hmm. that we've got one already done. Do you put any oil on it on top a of it or anything? A little bit of olive oil. Okay. And great. now all we're gonna do, Maggie, if you can give me a hand, yes. we've got raw corn in here. Right. And the idea of the raw corn is so that we have a little bit of uh, you know a chunk and crunch to it. So okay. these everything goes into this bowl. So everything is roasted you with the corn. Help me out getting sure, that in of there? And then I'm gonna throw the rest of the ingredients. And this is the easiest, easiest, easiest salad. We've got chopped parsley. Mm -hmm. That's gonna go in there. We've got some chives, small chopped as well. There you go. How come you didn't roast the corn? Just curious. Again, I want it to have an element of crunch. Oh, crunch, okay. And, you know, the corn is so sweet that actually, as weird as it sounds, that we're not roasting it, it's delicious like that. Okay, great. Down really here good. we've got some dill. Dill, So it's parsley. really just aromatic herbs and mm. roasted veggies. You don't even have to man them. You stick them in the oven, you roast. Beautiful. And it's such an easy dish. And this is gonna give it a zing up. We've got lemon zest. So That's a that lot. zest is going to help. You know what? It's actually because now we also need to stuff it into the oh, okay. avocado. It's you're not going to. It's just a little bit of a touch, a little bit of lime juice. Super healthy recipe. Now for winter that you have, you know, warm veggies instead of having a cold salad at mm -hmm. night, the warmth will satisfy you. Little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and our salad is done. Now all we need to do is, is stuff put it in an avocado. our avocado. Let's see. Right. Oh, I got some ripe oh, thank right goodness. here. Okay. Yeah, you better do now, it. Now let's see. We're gonna this just is a highly trained professional. Lengthwise, just cut uh, sideways. Oh, it's look at better. that. She had a, so hers was ripe. So you now, leave the skin on it? I leave the skin okay. on it. We're just gonna do a little oh, bit look of this. Look how beautiful that is. We're gonna do a little bit of leaves right That's here. Beautiful. Place that in the center. Very nice, very nice. I heard some people, a lot of people put lemon on their avocado. Do you do that? On you know, avocado? you have to, either lemon or lime. Who wants this one? We'll because it's it. going to oxidize. Now, just to show you guys a little bit of a few recipes that we have in uh -huh. front of us, we've got a cold avocado soup. This is probably one of the easiest recipes that you can make in two or three minutes. It's with skim milk. And Harry, if you want to taste, we have this one ready for you okay. guys to try. Or that oh, one as well. So you it's mix skim it milk? with some skim milk. What now, is that? that is a shrimp with sesame seeds, a little bit of basil on top with a dri drizzle of olive oil. All right. We've got our toast. We've got a warm farmer's market salad. Mm. We got, you know what I do in the morning sometimes too, if I'm not having toast that I want something more, I do either egg whites or a fried egg with some avocado, wrap my tortilla. It's a great dinner. 20 Beautiful. essential nutrients in our avocado. And these recipes are all on your website. Yes, they are. Earlyshow.cbsnews.com. Ingrid Hoffman, delicioso as always. Yeah.